In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to get back on track after a cheat day. If you are watching this video at the time I am uploading it, we are right in the middle of the holiday season, a time of year that is heavily focused around food and indulgence. And while I do not think there's anything wrong with eating off plan every once in a while, more often than not, a cheat day can turn into a cheat week, which can turn into a cheat month. I think you get the picture. <laughs> After a cheat day, we want to prevent this from happening so we can continue progressing towards our health, weight loss, and fitness goals. And even if you're watching this video sometime in the future, the tips we are going to talk about today can be applied after any cheat day. And these tips are not your generic drink more water tips. These are going to be actionable steps you can take right now to make getting back on track easier. So in today's video, I'm going to give you five tips for how to get back on track after a cheat day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share and make sure to subscribe. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook where I share new posts every single day. Now, you guys know that I specialize in low carb diets, keto, carnivore, and any other variation. And when you are eating a low carb diet, when it comes to bouncing back, it isn't just about calories. It is also about getting back to burning fat or getting back into ketosis. Because usually we are eating very low amounts of carbs and in the absence of carbs in our diet, our bodies turn to burning fat for energy instead. But anytime we eat an abundance of carbs, our body switches back to burning carbs or glucose for energy. And depending on how extreme your cheat was and how metabolically flexible you are, it can be difficult to switch back to burning fat again. And even if your goals aren't weight loss related, a lot of the other benefits of eating a low carb diet stem from burning fat and being in ketosis. Less cravings, more consistent energy, better mental clarity, these all come from being in ketosis. The point I'm trying to make is that when you are eating a low carb diet, bouncing back after a cheat day isn't just about leveling out calories. It's not about exercising to burn off the excess calories or starving yourself. The main goal should be getting back to burning fat and then everything else will snowball from there. And with that, let's get into the tips. Number one, Remember your goals. What are you working towards? What is your reason for wanting to get back on track? This might sound silly, but actually saying your goals aloud or writing them down can help you to recommit to them. Maybe you are on a weight loss journey. Maybe you have a skin condition such as psoriasis, which has flared up. Maybe you want to build muscle. There always has to be a why in order for you to be successful. But sometimes we can lose sight of this. Even if we are really consistent, eventually there is going to become a point where you hit an obstacle and you ask yourself, why am I doing this? What is the point? And that might be the situation you are in right now after a cheat day, which is why it is really important to remind yourself of your goals and to recommit to them. And you can actually do this right now. Leave me a comment down below letting me know the goal that you want to recommit to. Number two, focus on fat. Fat is your friend, especially when you are trying to get back on track. Not only is it very satiating, helping you to stay more satisfied after your meals, but it can also kill cravings and boost your ketones. So if you have been around my channel for a while, you will know that I am a big fan of Bulletproof Coffee and Bulletproof Fasting. Bulletproof Coffee is basically a coffee with fat in it, usually butter or coconut oil and MCT oil. And what this does is it allows you to consume something during your fasting window without raising your insulin. And this is particularly helpful after a cheat day. Usually when you are eating a low carb diet, when you wake up in the morning, you aren't hungry right away, at least for a couple of hours. And this makes intermittent fasting easier. But if you have just had a cheat day, as I said before, your body will have switched back to burning carbs or glucose for energy. So you might wake up hungrier than you usually are. And Bulletproof Coffee can help you to extend your fasting window. 
which ultimately will get you back to burning fat for energy faster. If you do want to know more about Bulletproof Coffee and Bulletproof Fasting, I do have a whole video on the topic where I talk about the benefits and how to make it, which I will link above. But Bulletproof Coffee aside, making sure that you are getting adequate fat in through your meals is so important in the days after a cheat day. Getting back on track might be uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be unbearable. Some good sources of fat to add to your meals include cooking your food in a healthy fat such as ghee or tallow, adding sour cream or mayo that doesn't use vegetable oil, or fatty plants such as avocados and olives. Getting adequate fat in with your meals can help significantly. I can't stress this enough. And even if you do have cravings in between meals, a spoonful of ghee or coconut oil can do wonders to kill these cravings. Number three, keep busy. The day after a cheat day, you do not want to be constantly thinking about food. And especially right now during the holiday season, you might be having more time off, you might be spending more time at home, which can make this difficult. But you can try to plan some things that are not food related to keep you busy. This can be anything from exercise, going for a hike or a long walk, or even hitting the gym, or this can be yard work or errands around the house. Even plan a catch up with a friend depending on where you are in the world and the current situation, of course. Doing something or multiple things to keep you busy will help time go faster and help you to not be fixated on your appetite. Number four, prioritize sleep. Getting proper sleep is so underrated, but it can make the process of getting back on track a lot easier. When we get a poor night's sleep, our hunger hormones get thrown completely out of whack. Leptin, which is the satiety hormone decreases, Ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone, increases, and we become temporarily insulin resistant, meaning that our bodies are less able to process carbohydrates for energy. So I understand that sometimes a cheat day and a poor night's sleep will go hand in hand, and I do not think that having a late night every once in a while is detrimental. But the next day, if you did have a short night's sleep, it might be worthwhile to take a nap. And it is definitely worthwhile to get your sleep back on track as soon as you can. Now my number one tip for getting your sleep back on track is to use a pair of blue light blocking glasses. Blue light is one of, if not the strongest signal for circadian rhythms. When we are exposed to natural blue light from the sun in the morning, it boosts alertness and helps us feel energized and awake. On the flip side, when the sun goes down in the evening and there is no blue light, this signals our body to release melatonin, which helps us get to sleep. The problem is, is that we are exposed to so much artificial blue light, and especially after sunset, that this can throw our circadian rhythm out of sync. To combat this, specifically after a cheat day, pop on a pair of blue light blocking glasses, like these ones I have from Blue Blocks, three to four hours before you want to go to sleep. This will help you to block blue light so your body produces melatonin at the correct time, and you will be able to fall and stay asleep and the difference you'll experience trying to get back on track after a good night's sleep versus a poor night's sleep is night and day. There are a lot of cheap brands out there which do not actually block 100% blue light, whereas blue blocks lenses are laboratory made and tested. And something I'm often asked about is what if you already wear glasses? Well, blue blocks has you covered because they do offer prescription lenses on all of their frames. I will put the link to check them out in the description box down below, and you can use code HCK15 to save 15% off your order. Number five, don't punish yourself. And my final tip is not to punish yourself. You need to remember all the hard work you put in leading up to your cheat day, and you need to remember that all of that isn't going to waste. One cheat day will not derail your progress. Sure, you might be carrying some extra water weight, your digestion might be off, or you might be feeling pretty blah in some other way. But you still have come so far. You have worked so hard. What matters is what you do most of the time and being consistent. What you do some of the time, that's just a speed bump. So don't beat yourself up. It's okay. The best thing you can do if you're feeling down after a cheat day is to move on, move forward, recommit to your goals as we discussed earlier and keep working towards them. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. Remember to let me know in the comment section down below what goal you are recommitting to. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. 
All of these things help to support my channel. So if you enjoy my content, this is a small way that you can support me. And if you do want to support me a little bit more and get early access to all of my videos, you can click the join button down below to become a Health Coach Kate member for as little as $1 per month. Thanks again guys for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, you might also like my video on how a lack of sleep can cause weight gain. You can check it out here. If you want to catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you want to check out my keto diet and carnivore diet coaching programs, you can find them here. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.